amigos, we are here for Hum of the Earth. Signing in from the nice town of Cafayate. A nice town to stay a few days if you're checking out this part of the Salta province of Argentina. I slept in a hostel here last night for only 200 pesos which in early 2019 was about five US dollars. It's very close to the Kilmes ruins, which we'll be checking out today. In fact, so close that we'll be bicycling there. And it should be a nice ride along the way. Fifty kilometers later and we are on the dirt road to head to the ruins it's gonna be a long five kilometers on this wavy bumpy road road ended up getting better let's check out the ruins welcome to the Kilmes Archaeological Site, the largest pre Columbian archaeological site in the country, which was once inhabited by the Kilmes people around 850 AD. <laughs> Kilmes people mostly lived on corn, quinoa, and other things that they were able to grow in this climate, as well as the hunting of small animals like the little fox, the zoho that we actually saw on the way here, and a little rabbit-like animal that I've seen in Peru but that also lives here. So the settlement was built in a defensive manner for oncoming attacks. Up here you have what is called a pucara. and arrows where you could have a high location would be good to see oncoming attacks but also to defend if they were to make it inside the settlement and another good reason to just have the settlement in the mountains in the first place So they would occasionally get attacked by other indigenous tribes who would roam and try to conquer and gain more land and territory and resources if possible. But 
the attack that ultimately led to the fall of the Quilmes was from the Spaniards in 1666. This is because of a few factors, uh, not really because of the size of the Spaniard force, but more the fact that they were on horses which the Kilmets were not used to fighting uh, opponents that were horsebound, so raised and speedy, but also from the fact that the Spaniards had uh, guns, which is an obvious advantage, as well as the fact that they had steel-plated armor, uh, which fares pretty well against arrows. So when the two met, uh, the Spaniards had a decisive victory. So most were killed who opposed, and then the rest were taken as prisoners and sent, fortunately, south of Buenos Aires as slaves and they were sent walking across the deserts Spaniards being on horseback and the Kilmas people uh, simply walking through the hot desert most of which did not make it probably dying of dehydration on these massive voyages. So this is one of the puka here, so the, one of the elevated defensive structures. As you can see, really good view of your landscape here, so very easy to spot oncoming attackers. They're called ruins for a reason. I imagine the structures were quite a bit um, taller when back when in their heyday. I guess erosion and or battles or what have you kind of uh, grinds them down somehow. Still pretty cool nonetheless. Do you imagine them? in their prime when this was a thriving settlement and to see what's left today. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little journey to the ruins and checking out the Kilmes ruins and uh, thinking a little bit about their uh, interesting history. I was um, here as part of a bicycle trip, um, bicycling from Canada to Argentina and beyond. Um, if you'd like to see some more videos of Northern Argentina, which I highly recommend, uh, some really beautiful stuff bicycling through this part of the, of the country, uh, you can check those out by checking the uh, appropriate playlist on my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I went on this journey, I have uh, that interactive map over at my website, 
follow the hum of the earth.com where you can click on all the different places that I stopped and see the blog posts and videos that I've made of these places. If you'd like to follow my continuing adventures, you can do so by subscribing to this YouTube channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below the video. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.